you're right guys so this is how uh we're going to take advantage of um losing traders yeah traders who fomo in and traders who can't accept the loss who suffer from something called loss aversion and traders who don't use stop losses yeah um when they trade and this is exactly how we're going to do it so first of all you need to look for a setup that of uh, traders will take now there is only really three uh, types of traders. There is the breakout trader. Yeah, you've got the retracement trader. And you've got a level trader. Yeah, level trader. So what we need to do is we're understanding, you know, as we know, the, the Forex market is a zero sum game. So for someone to win, someone else has to lose. So I'm trying to take advantage and we're trying to take advantage of losing traders and how do we do that by understanding what they're doing yeah at a certain you know certain setups that they take yeah and when those setups fail yeah and you can see it it's very obvious to see yeah so what we're doing is we're seeing this level so i know how breakout traders trade they're looking at this level one two three and what they're anticipating is what a breakout because you know when prices go from one uh, market state which is trending yeah to them what ranging yeah to them what trending maybe to the upside or to the downside etc yeah so they're looking at that they're looking at that and they're looking at you know this trending ranging trending etc so at the moment they're looking at what some sort of breakout so what should happen if we see a nice candlestick on the hourly time frame or any major traded time frame um, then probably the chances are that breakout traders are going to be getting in breakouts at that level because they don't want to wait yeah because prices could keep going higher and not give the retracement uh traders a chance to get in yeah boom what do we get a nice nice move to the upside i can guarantee you that all these traders would be placing their stop losses probably around here if they trade with stop losses and if they don't trade with stop losses they're definitely still getting in regardless right here and trying to maybe mentally man manage their uh <clears throat> their their their, uh, their risk yeah so we know that they're in yeah this is the capture phase yeah this is the this is the um, the, the the temptation this is the commit yeah because if they're not going to commit now and prices go higher then that's it if you know what I mean then then they're gonna then it's like they have to take a, a, a they have to get in at a worse price so they're trying to get in at the best price possible and they're in here this is where they enter yeah but now once they've committed capital yeah they're pretty much now caught in their positions they're committing because of FOMO they don't want to miss out on this move so then what we're looking for is um, where this trade fails now this trade could go to the heavens we have no idea no, none of us do yeah but what I can tell you for sure yeah is when it fails on them and let's zoom in a little bit so immediately prices start to reverse back down to here and what do you think retracement traders are doing yeah so these guys here Tracement traders now are thinking, oh, thank my lucky stars. Momentum, momentum. How many times have you heard momentum? The momentum's to the upside, right? No, 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 no. Well, I say no yet, not yet, but let's say this reverse back a little bit. <clears throat> One second, let's reverse back a little bit, yeah. So retracement traders, we know how they get in. They get in because they're looking for price action at a level of what? Resistance should turn to what? Support. We've got a nice little pin bar price action. Price starts to look like it's moving higher. This should now start to move higher, shouldn't it? In the same way that the breakout traders thought that this was going to move higher. Now, again, if this moves higher, that's none of our business. Those traders make money. Good, you know, for them. What we're looking to do is take advantage of when obvious setups fail these traders. So we know that not only are breakout traders in, retracement traders are in as well. Now, we start to get a failure in that reality, yeah? 
start to occur now traders who don't trade with stop losses or traders who are not disciplined enough to you know take accept the loss due to uh, something called loss aversion where losses feel worse than gains feel good they're going to start to either move their stop loss instead of having it there now they're going to move it there now they're going to move it there in an attempt to not get stopped out as prices go against them yeah but what that does is instead of risking one or two percent now they're now they're down five six seven ten fifteen percent as prices go against them this is what is known as the pain phase so they've been captured in their position drawn in by price action and then the pain phase and the further prices go down the more pain that they're in and on this pair euro new zealand this has probably moved from the highs from 1.69 to 1.67 maybe about uh 150 pips or so yeah down here would be about 200 pips i guess keep going if it goes down actually let's just zoom out zoom back right so yeah so prices they're going through a bit of pain at the moment right they're going through a bit of pain what do you think these guys yeah what do you think these guys are going to do if they're still in this uh this trade here and they're looking at the pain and they're seeing if I get you know an opportunity to get out for my original loss if I can get out what do you think I want to do what do you think they're going to do they are going to exit they're going to try and look for some pain relief yeah which then their relief is up here but if they went long yeah this is the supply and demand equation. There's no point in just trading levels of supply and demand if you don't understand the psychological element, the zero sum element, um, you know, to to this. Yeah. So if these guys got long here, they bought here. What did they have to do to exit? They have to sell to exit. You got to press sell on your broker. Not only do we have breakout traders, we have retracement traders looking to sell. So there should be supply around there. We also have traders who bought from down here, yeah? Nice buying opportunity potentially. And where are they taking profit? Somewhere in the same area, yeah? Somewhere around here, probably more at this level of support. Sorry, resistance. Resistance should turn to, and that was failed support, should turn to what? Resistance, yeah? So we've got supply some more supply orders there from take profit what else do we have we have traders who are going to be entering new positions and they're getting short that's more supply All right that's relief All right e f yeah so net net we should have in this whole area here in this whole area here we should have what more supply orders then demand yeah this is how the supply and demand equation works this is how we take advantage of traders yeah who don't use stop losses who are probably adding into these trades oh and just to you know just another side note as well is that the traders that don't trade with stop losses that have been adding into trades and they're making money on the way up where are they going to end up taking you know profits on their trades to make up for the ones for the trade that they took up here if you know what i mean so they were in a losing trade but as they scale in martin galen or whatever it is they do um they're going to be taking profit as prices go to the upside as well so these guys are going to make money probably covering their loss here but it still adds to the supply and demand equation here as they exit their trades and take profit yeah so net net we should have more supply than demand at this relief zone capture pain relief this is how you take advantage of losing traders and their biases and traders who don't trade with stop losses this stuff happens over and over and over again and um yeah this is uh, basically how um we trade it's not trading in hindsight it's trading um actually matter of fact it is trading in hindsight it's trading it's hindsight trading yeah um this isn't something that you know is uh is 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 taught in you know on youtube or in in the forex world it's a really a unique concept and uh if you know rather than chasing price what you want to do is you know look for where traders are captured in their positions yeah where you may have taken this trade 
yourself if you're a breakout trader, if you're a retracement trader, and then I'm trading in hindsight because I'm looking at you guys and I'm saying, I know you guys are caught in your positions. I know for a fact, yeah, there's an argument that says that, you know, there are traders that would have been stopped out. Fine, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the guys, and ladies as well, that uh, trade Forex, that don't use stop losses, that are not disciplined enough to use um, or to rem they, they keep removing their stop losses. And I'm looking back in time and I'm saying, yep, I know something about them that they don't know about me and I'm going to take advantage of that. All right then. Take care and uh, I'll speak to you soon. If you have any questions, leave it in the description box below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.